If you're into blues rock guitar, there is a high chance that you are, like me, a fan of Derek Trucks. Derek Trucks is probably one of my favourite players of all time, but because he plays slide and I don't, I've never really sat down and transcribed some of his stuff. But then I was like, hold on, I could just try and adapt it to my own playing style. And uh, well, this is exactly what we're going to do today. So I've been working on a bunch of Derek Truck solos and for today I've picked up two phrases that I think are a good representation of his style. Obviously there's a lot more to check out when it comes to his playing, but I think that these two phrases would be very good candidates to get you started playing like him. So here's what we're going to do. I'll first play the lick along with Derek at full speed, then I'll talk a little bit, do some explanation of the theory behind it and some of the techniques. And finally, I play the lick at a slower tempo with the tab going along on your screen so that you can learn it yourself. Okay, so let's get started with the first lick. This lick is coming out of a live version of the song Midnight in Harlem by Tedeschi Trucks Band. The song is in the key of E and Derek is soloing over the following progression. To improvise over this, he's mainly going to use the E major pentatonic scale and the E major scale, but you can also throw in some E minor pentatonic scale playing some tasty blues licks. Now the key to phrasing like Derek is to know how to play these scales on one single string. Because he plays slide, Derek tends to play much more horizontally than vertically. So it's going to be a very good practice for you to sit down and know how to play these scales vertically on each single string. I actually made a video recently talking about the science of the unitar, which is a very similar concept that you can check out here. When it comes to technique, I find that I have the most control and accuracy when I slide with my first finger. For you, it might be different, so you might have to adapt some of the fingerings you will be seeing on screen. You'll also have to be comfortable with sliding quick pickup notes and mordants, because he does a lot of that in his playing. Regarding the right hand, you'll need to play with your fingers, no pick and you'll need to work on different kinds of rips and ghost notes. The only way you're gonna learn how to do this is by closely watching somebody doing it and trying to imitate them. So I will invite you to pay close attention to what I'm gonna do with both hands in the slow version I'm going to play for you right now. Do not hesitate to play it back multiple times and to slow it down even further using the YouTube settings. Now let's check out the second lick. This one is coming out of a live version of the song Do I Look Worried? And I really like the chord progression he's improvising over. At first glance, we could think that the progression is a 6-4-1-2 in the key of D. But here, the last chord is actually an E major. This lifts up the accompaniment and makes the solo really exciting. Derek will mostly tend to use the B minor pentatonic on top of this, but be aware that if you want to use the B minor scale to play more diatonically, you'll have to be careful with that E major at the end because you won't be able to play a G natural. You'll have to turn it into a G sharp to match the E major chord at the end. Uh, that can actually be a very good exercise if you want to practice the, you know, the whole playing on one string 
thing because that will really force you to visualize where that G note is on each string and you'll work on your timing trying to change it into a G sharp at the right moment. So I'll definitely encourage you to do that. Try and use the B minor scale and try and turn that G into a G sharp when that E comes around. I think this E major chord works really well too for Derek because he tends to play in open E tuning and he tends to like to do a lot of those open strings rips before launching into a new uh, lick or a new phrase and uh, that tends to work really well at the end of a sequence. Regarding technique, the principles are pretty much the same as for the first lick. You'll just have to be a little bit more aggressive. All right, now let's check out the slow version. So these are just two licks, that's all I had for today, but I hope these will be helpful. If you wish to download the tabs and the backing tracks from this video, uh, there is a link down below in the description. On this channel, I have transcribed a bunch of other solos from my favorite musicians. So if you're into that kind of content, don't hesitate to go check out my other videos. Okay, you guys take care and I will see you on the next one.